STRANGE REALIZATION FOR A FAMILY HEADING TO HAWAII THIS WEEK AS ONE OF THEM WAS TURNED AWAY BECAUSE THE STATE WOULD NOT ACCEPT A NEGATIVE TEST FROM THE MAYO CLINIC. FOX 9'S MITTY HICKS HAS MORE ON THE STATE'S OVERSIGHT, LEAVING OFF ONE OF THE NATION'S MOST PROMINENT HEALTH CARE FACILITIES. WE SAID, BUT WE'RE FROM MINNESOTA, IT'S THE MAYO CLINIC, LIKE THE BIGGEST RESEARCH LAB OF THE UNITED STATES. WHAT WAS SUPPOSED TO BE THE DREAM HAWAIIAN VACATION HAS TURNED INTO A NIGHTMARE FOR JOAN AND GRANT CHRISTENSEN. THE COUPLE NOW APART IN TWO DIFFERENT STATES BECAUSE HAWAII SAYS THE MAYO CLINIC ISN'T A TRUSTED PARTNER FOR COVID-19 TESTING. MY COVID TEST WAS FROM WALGREENS LAB WHERE I SAT in the car and swabbed my own nose and it went through the lab and came back negative and Hawaii accepted that. Hawaii doesn't offer testing on site so the only option for Mr. Christensen was to sleep in the car overnight and then fly to LA the next morning for a test in the airport. The most trusted partner in the world is Mayo Clinic and how that wasn't a part of a a trusted lab result is sort of very shocking to us. The couple reached out to Representative Baker, who says he's disappointed with how Hawaiian leaders have handled this situation. And I get the understanding of making sure that they're very, very safe. But my goodness, uh, picking up a phone and asking a few questions and calling the Mayo Clinic, uh, you would think there'd be a process to do this better. MDH tells Fox 9 in a statement it's heard the same reports and are in contact with both the Mayo Clinic and Hawaii state officials to see what can be done. The Mayo Clinic says trusted partner status is granted based on government filings, not the safety or quality of the testing. And at this time, the Mayo Clinic Laboratories has not been granted trusted partner status in the state. As for Mrs. Christensen, she's hoping to have her husband back on the island before Valentine's Day. It's our first time back in 30 years. I don't think I'll ever convince him to come back here again. A spokesperson from Hawaii's Attorney General Office says the only way getting around testing from its trusted partners is by applying for an exception. And if you don't have it, you'll have to quarantine for 10 days. At the airport, Mitty Hicks, Fox 9.